Hello Matchmasters, Timo here, and when I presented the idea to the Matchmasters team that I would climb 10,000 trophies in a day, I thought, hey, piece of cake. But boy oh boy, was I ever wrong. This one actually took me about 10 hours, but in the end, I did it. 10,000 trophies. So today, I want to share with you what I learned through this process, so next time you go and push, you'll become a better player. But as always, stick around to the end because we'll be giving away 5,000 coins to two lucky winners. All right, climbing trophies. So this isn't my first time, but there's two things I like to have when I'm ready to push. Having a good amount of boosters saved up and being on fire. Now I've been saving a bunch of boosters, but if you guys are struggling on getting some SE or legendaries, try going and completing some sticker albums or even just going into the solo events and grabbing some coins from those first rewards. For the on fire, there's a ton of different ways to get them, but most people will try to win three matches in a row. But did you know that you could request on fires from your team members? Give it a try. So my starting point was 30,850, and I find a lot of people in this area are still playing with a lot of diamond tier boosters and below. I know that if I go up on one of these weaker boosters and I go in strong, a majority of the players are going to just end up giving up. I even had one player see my booster and forfeited before there was even any tiles moved. Now climbing trophies has some great benefits. Not only do we get some rewards when we hit those trophy milestones, but we're also going to be getting better rewards when it comes to the end of season. And I gotta say, I absolutely love this new Night of the Demon sticker album. It really adds a spooky element to the game. As I was playing, I found that every now and then there was a halfway decent player, but once I hit that 36,000 mark, it felt like every other player was a fair competition. I found there was a lot of players that if they had the lead, they were doing a really good job of shutting down my booster and preventing me from getting my blue stars. So a good rule to go by is always make sure your booster is filled up when you're going into a fresh round. And if you have a chance to shut your opponent down from filling their booster, make sure you take action. An exciting thing that happened to me when I reached around the 38,000 mark, I made it into the top 100,000. And with each trophy I climbed, I watched this number drop. This only motivated me more to prove that I could hit my mark. As I got closer, I went up a really good player, and I think we both learned a valuable lesson. But before we talk about that, we gotta give away those coins. As I said earlier, two lucky winners will win 5,000 coins. To enter, I want you to go down in the comments and post what your trophy rank you're gonna aim for by the end of this season. Make sure you put your player ID in there too because these coins can really help you climb. What was I saying? Oh yeah, valuable lesson. So here I was, going up against my opponent, we were neck to neck the whole way. Both using the same booster too, all aboard SE. So I gotta ask, when you go up against the same booster, do you feel like this is a true test to prove your matchmaster skills? I do, and I try really hard every time. So there I was, final round, I'm down 200 trophies. Time is running out, but as I get closer, a YouTube notification pops down the screen. My dog jumps up on the couch, and just when this all happens, my opponent throws out the white flag to give up. I screwed up my moves and I didn't get the high score. But even though the screen said opponent win, when we went to the final screen, you saw it right there, I gained the trophies and there it was listed, my opponent giving up. So I encourage you all, never wave that white flag, play it out, learn from what your opponent's doing, and in this situation, you might get lucky and find out that you thought they were going to win, but they just went a little bit short. From here, it was a couple more matches, and then I finished it off with a solo event, grabbed some trophies, and I had done it folks, 10,000 trophies I had climbed in a single day. What a wonderful feeling it was to set a goal and achieve it, I couldn't be happier. So I really recommend you guys set some goals too because it just adds an extra element and it does feel great when you get there. But if there's a video you guys want to see me cover, let me know in the comments below. Once again, I'm Timo and we'll see you Matchmasters in the next video. Wow, what an exhausting climb. I think I'm going to sit here now and just watch some Matchmaster videos. Want to join me? Okay. You want to watch this one or do you want to watch that one? 